In this presentation, we're going to look at um, the characteristics of a data set. Now, what I mean by that specifically is the dimensions of a data set, which is the number of rows and the number of columns, and also column names. I'll actually also look at row names as well with a data set. So I have a data set here called New Data. Okay. Now, it actually takes up the whole page. There's actually 186 rows. Okay, so that's quite a lot of data. So it, it's hard to get a sense of the data just looking at it like this. First off, what we're going to do is actually see how many rows and columns it has. So the command we would use here is dim. Now, D-I-M, that means dimension. So we use that command and we specify the name of the data set. This, so we have 186. I'm just going to bring that up here a second. Oops. 186 rows and five columns. Now there's two other commands we could use here. N row, number of rows, new data. It's 186 rows and N call new data. Five columns. Okay, so those are the two components of the dimension. Now, here's a really in useful command that we can use uh, to get a sense of a data set. Head. Head w returns the first six entries, the first six rows of a data set. So rather than getting a whole page of data, what it does is just presents the first six rows. So we get a sense of what the data is and how it's constructed and is it in the sort of shape we want it to be in. So we can see the column names here and uh, get a sense of what the data structure, what the data looks like. There's a complementary function which is called tail and this presents the last six rows again with the column name. The column names group W, X, Y and Z. Now I've made mention there of the column names so we can actually um, find out those directly as well so column names new data so these are our column names group w x y and z those are our variables and um, we can also use simply this c command names in this particular instance it actually does the same thing but names is a bit more versatile it can be used for other structures as well not just um, the the sort of simple data structure we have it can be used for more complex data structures now there's a complementary command called row names now in, the thing about row names is that there are no row names for this particular data set well there's just the numbers again that's not really useful I'm quickly going to have a look at a different data set that an inbuilt data set called empty cars empty cars is one of a, an embedded data set in R it's used for training purposes so here's the top six elements the first six rows of this data set and on the side here we have the names of types of cars Mazda Datsun Hornet and Valiant and so on so we can actually use row names to extract all these types of cars so um, Volvos, Mercedes-Benz, Chryslers and so on so that's row names and like if the data set is constructed with row names that's how we would find out those row names